Of all the procedures performed in cosmetic surgery, rhinoplasty is one of the most common. I think my nose right now looks the best that it's ever going to look. Um, I'm very, very happy, um, and I think this, this is the nose that I would have wanted after my first surgery. Well, the absolute numbers of, of rhinoplasties are increasing every year, um, and the actual average is about 5 to 15 percent, even in a good surgeon's hands, may require some revision. The nose has multiple moving parts, and every single procedure done in each part can affect everything else. It can affect the height of the nose, the shape of the nose, the length of the nose, the angle of the tip. There are many excellent cosmetic surgeons who may be skilled at doing all kinds of body surgery and facial surgery, but you must go to someone who has skill and knowledge of rhinoplasty. The old days of having cookie-cutter rhinoplasties where you can spot them coming down the street are gone. Really, we need to make the nose fit the face. I was about 22 when someone made a comment to me about my profile, the bump on my profile. Not a mean comment, but it was uh, almost like, oh, Denise, I'd never noticed that about you before type of a comment. In May 2001, she made an appointment with a plastic surgeon. I did not do any research. I did not go to any other doctors. I was young, and I just picked the first person that I could find because I thought, he's a doctor. And he made it sound like it was a very minimal, um, very simple, easy procedure, and uh, that nothing could possibly go wrong, and everything was going to be fine. The surgery was performed in June 2001. But Denise soon noticed that the bump on her nose started to show again. Her doctor said she needed another operation. Less than four months after the first procedure, Denise went back under the knife. Um, my nose completely collapsed. The physical damage was extensive. The emotional trauma even worse. I didn't have the energy and I didn't have the happiness that I had once had because I saw, you know, how I really saw, when I looked in the mirror, I didn't like what I saw. So it was difficult. My only concern really at that point was just getting it right and finding someone who could correct the damage that was done. Over the next year, Denise had two more procedures done by two different doctors. Neither surgery fixed the problem. For Denise, her, her nose was terrible. She felt it was very unsightly and she certainly could not breathe through. Finally, in November 2004, she contacted Dr. Stephen Perlman. Perlman is president of the American Academy of Facial, Plastic, and Reconstructive Surgery. There's an open roof. There was no support here in the middle part. The nostrils were collapsed, and she had poor tip definition. So by examining not only her nose and the subsequent operative reports, I was able to determine what was done to try and correct those things. On December 2nd, 2004, Denise went in for her fourth operation with her fourth doctor. But this time, she did her homework. Dr. Perlman knew exactly what he was doing. I narrowed this part uh, by, again, doing what's called oste microosteotomies. I put to grafts of cartilage, which I found remaining in her septum, for the internal valve called spreadograft. They literally spread this part of the nose to improve the breathing. For the nostrils, I took cartilage from the right ear, in a part of the ear that you cannot see any type of scar, no visible deformity to the ear, and strengthened both nostrils to both improve the crease as well as the strength of the nostrils. And so we all get a better, better result. Dr. Perlman had even bigger ideas for Denise's nose. She actually didn't like the idea of me raising it. She said, oh, I like my little nose. But I used computer imaging. And with the computer imaging, I actually was able to demonstrate her what it would look like if we raised this up for a more, to me, a dignified, a stronger profile than the little nose she had, which I thought was a little too scooped out. And she actually agreed that she wanted me to do that. If she didn't, I would have left it lower. But people often don't like the idea of, of making a nose bigger when in actuality it really, to me, makes it much prettier. The procedure was complicated and difficult. I think my nose right now looks the best that it's ever going to look. Um, I'm very, very happy, um, and I think this, this is the nose that I would have wanted after my first surgery. 